Back on the rink live, Jess Myers along with Mick Hatton. Happy to be joined by our true hockey legend. <laughs> <laughs> and, and don't be embarrassed because, I mean... I'm embarrassed. Jack, I'm Jack, Jack Carlson, one of the uh, kind of legendary names of the kind of a tougher era of hockey. Let's, let's, let's put tough. it that way. Yeah, it was, uh, it was the era of the Broad Street Bullies and Glenn Sonmore and the Fighting City. So, yeah, it was it was different hockey. I see you're playing with Bill Butters. Yep. One, of, one of the legendary stories I love telling about Bill is when he left the penalty box and he left his gloves and his stick there and said, I'll be right back and get it. Correct. <laughs> And he was still only in college, so he wasn't really mature at the time. <laughs> <laughs> but I ended up rooming with Billy for uh, four or five years when we were at the Fighting Saints, and tough kid, yeah. tough kid, good player. What uh, you know, you know, with, with the North Stars after all these years, I mean, I, I still, you know, the, I'm a little starstruck because I, I, I was a big fan of yours, you know, growing up and stuff, and, and watching you play. But when you think back to to the North Stars and playing at Met Center and everything else, uh, I would imagine uh, you still get people coming up and talking to you. Oh, yeah. I mean, it was, uh, one, we had uh, good teams. Two, we, we changed the culture of, uh, of the North Stars back in the day. And, uh, you know, we had fiery players. We had fiery coaches. We had Lou Nanny as the general manager. And, you know, I could, in the next hour, I could tell stories about <laughs> the North Stars. But, uh, you know, we got to the Stanley Cup Finals in 81 and, uh, and you know, turned that, that team around. And, of course, the fan base has always been there. Yeah. What was, uh, you know, 81, uh, I don't think a lot of people, well, some people don't remember this or whatever, but, I mean, literally, Neil Broughton went from playing on the Correct. Olympic team to joining you guys. Steve Kristoff and, yep. and, and, and uh, you know, a few of those other players. We had young guys like Bull Prey and uh, Dino was, Dino Dino was, was, was kind of was, coming was, into his was, prime, yeah, yeah. Dino was coming into his prime, and, and again, uh, a good group of guys. Too bad we got up against the Islanders, uh, you know, the second year out of four they won it, but uh, always an enjoyable. I mean, people remember it. You know, I don't. You know, I don't have the man cave like some people do, but yeah. you know, I've got it all up in my brain on you know what how it was and everything else. Yeah. We're in Sox Center for an important cause, an important event about mental health and kind Correct. of taking care of your teammates. Just what does that mean to you? It seems like there's so much more awareness of of taking care of your mind as well as your body. Well, not only yeah, uh, you know, and, and unfortunately, Mark, uh, uh, you know, didn't have the uh, the wherewithal or, or uh, maybe the uh, uh, things to go and, uh, and ask for help, but yep. uh, th you know this is very important. Uh, a lot of people don't realize, you know, when you're a hockey player, you go through a lot of stuff. Uh, you know, you you know, you're traveling, you're making a lot of money, you're not probably not, not making some good decisions. But this is a great cause because uh, you know it's it's getting out there more and more, and uh, I think we can do a better job of uh, uh, you know getting the National Hockey League involved in it more and and just making it aware that there are places you can go. If you need the help. places you can turn to, you know, and that's that's important. They're uh, they're waiting for you to tee off. We better let you go. <laughs> <laughs> we, we we don't want to mess up the golf game. No, Jack no. Carlson, thanks uh, for joining us. Thanks, thanks guys. so much. Appreciate All it. Right. Great talking Appreciate to you. Bye, bud.